Yo, what's going on out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be going over a lot of informational stuff. Uh, it's not going to be a super eventful, you know, video, but I haven't posted in, it's almost been a week, all right? And if you guys really want to know the truth about it, there's just not a lot of glitches to post. You know, I'm not into reposting glitches. Uh, we're going to get into what glitches are actually working and why there is a solo money glitch working that I actually haven't even posted. All right, but we'll get into all of that uh, right now. But there are a few more talking points that I do want to touch on as well, like the nightclub DLC, uh, you know, expected dates and stuff like that, because that's really what I'm waiting for for GTA. Right now, the game is pretty stale. Uh, no great glitches out, no great events out really, but you know, so we're going to go over what money glitches, what gift cards to friends is working, uh, why the retros are only selling for, you know, two or three hundred thousand dollars less than what they should be, uh, and the GTA bonuses and RP cash bonuses that are out right now for this week. All right. So the event week, we'll talk about everything right now. All right. And the best discounts. So starting off with the nightclub DLC. I was really disappointed because I thought it was going to come out yesterday, Tuesday, July 17th. Uh, there was a little bit of information that said that it wouldn't come out on Tuesday, or at least this Tuesday, that it would be uh, a week from now. So sometime next Tuesday, which would be, if I'm not mistaken, the 23rd. Okay, so that is the expected date. So one week from yesterday is the expected release date. We could be, because today is Wednesday. Rockstar generally does like to put out trailers and information on either Thursdays or Tuesdays. So I would say be expecting something tomorrow. It's not 100%, but expect something tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, then for sure something will happen on Tuesday, whether it's the DLC release or just an informational, you know, text or trailer on their website. So, you know, keep an eye out for that. Now, let's talk about what money glitches are actually working right now. So there's a solo money glitch out, but I haven't posted it. Reason being is it sucks. All right. 100% it sucks. You have to be so desperate for money right now to do the glitch. Now, there was an older version where basically what you have to do is you have to have a Titan in your facility. And back then we used to be able to just switch the cars around. And when we switch the cars around, uh, you know, or when we switch to Titan with a retro in the facility, what would happen is the Titan would freak out and it would knock the retro down onto the bottom floor. Now, when that happened, you can go ahead and do the cool teleport trick and basically not having to do the whole facility merge with another player. You can do all of that solo and you can actually get dupes that way. Problem is now with the workaround, the workaround pretty much says that what you have to do is go in and out of your Avenger and that moves the Titan because when the Titan's in your facility now, your whole facility is bricked. You cannot do anything. It's just like frozen basically. So you have to maneuver around that. The It's just, it's a pain in the ass. I'll tell you that right now. It's 100% a pain in the ass. I was recording footage for it. I hit the glitch a couple times and didn't even feel like making a video because it probably would have gotten hate anyways. All right, like you got to pay 2 million bucks to get this Titan in there uh, if you don't have a Titan already, you know, through Pegasus. And then once you have it in there, freezes your facility. It's based on 100% luck whether you're going to be able to get the retro to end up in the right spot or not. It's really, really not worth it. So I held off and I didn't post it. If anybody is interested in finding out info on it or how to do the glitch, I'll leave the Seven Sins link down in the uh, description. So definitely check out the description for all the important links for things I'm going to be talking about uh, in the future for this video. So the best glitch I would say, best money glitch to do is that two player facility glitch. I have made a video on it already. That is still working. You can get a lot of dupes with that. If you fill up your facility, you can get, you know, a full facility of dupes in probably, I'd say 10, you know, 15 minutes max if you're super slow and just talking to your friend the whole time. But yeah, 10 minutes if you really, you know, you know, put some pep in your step. So the two player facility glitch, look out for that YouTube video uh, linked in the description. That's where I'll put it. Now, apart from that, gift cards to friends for PS4 is still working. All right. So the other glitches were PS4 and Xbox One. This one is just PS4. So I have a gift cards to friends video tutorial on that glitch. So check out that. I'll put that link in the description as well. Now, all the DM outfit glitches are still working too. DM trailer uh, outfit glitches, if you have the modded saves or not, you know, duping birds, everything is still working. Also, that outfit transfer glitch where you have to delete your second character, 
that one still works as well. They took out, the, you know, you can press pause again in Creator, so you don't have to do that that crazy workaround. It's just like it was before. So that's 100% working. Now, something I wanted to touch on with the DM trailer glitches, I haven't really wanted to make any more videos on it, and I haven't been screwing with the glitch in a while because, I don't know, I have the suspicion that Rockstar will... Uh, you know wipe a lot of the outfits that we've actually gotten from that I don't I, I'm pretty sure they'll patch the glitch too they you know they only patched this glitch in the very beginning when I actually posted the uh, the save method you know to actually save outfits online and stuff after that seven sins post and they tried to patch that glitch they came out with the workaround and the workaround was merely just you know going from the trailer into story mode twice all right that's pretty much all it was you just needed to leave director mode uh, twice instead of once which is what it was before and that that was it that was the entire workaround and uh, it's pretty much been that way since and that was a few months ago so they haven't shown a lot of great interest in the DM trailer glitch since then but uh, I have the suspicion that they will patch uh, pretty much everything that we have now because that's what they've always done with DLCs no matter what it is they'll patch it just like they patched the fly forever with the oppressor glitch one of my favorites they patched that when the gun running DLC came out so they'll pretty much patch everything I can see that the thing with the outfits is I'm worried that they're actually going to do outfit wipes it's very possible they've done it in the past it was a few years ago but they did a huge outfit wipe when modded outfits were first becoming really you know a popular thing and uh, invisible outfits as well so a lot of people got outfit wipes and a lot of people even quit the game at that point uh, because they had worked so hard on their stuff so expect some outfit wipes uh, it's possible some people are already losing outfits so uh, keep in mind that that is a possible thing we're gonna have to see when the DLC comes out it all depends on what they want to do you know it's their game now apart from that there are some issues with people selling their retros right now I've seen a lot of comments in my you know on my videos and people are asking me why their retros are selling for so much less money they're asking are they dupe detected no guys there is a uh, there is something in dupe detect that basically will have your car selling for less but they're very small percentages and that only applies if you're selling dirty dupes right now the reason that your dupes are selling for a lot less and don't worry they're all clean they're selling for a lot less because there's a big sale right now and some people might not say it's a big sale but it's a pretty good chunk of change it's uh 30 off the initial benny's upgrade so you know when you take a free lg over into you know any benny's garage or you take it into your ceo garage when you want to do the benny's upgrade it costs almost a million dollars it's like 950 grand for the Benny's upgrade for the LG. So that is what's on, or yeah, that's what there's a discount for right now. 30% off of that. So that's why a lot of people's retros, I think mine that normally sells for 950K or around there, is only selling for about 730 or $740,000. So that's the reason why right now we are having to sell our retros for less money. If you have a bunch of retros that you want to sell and you're trying to, you know, save up for the DLC, I get it, but maybe take a little break right now. And if you want to get the fullest amount for your retro dupes, then you want to go ahead and wait until the DLC comes out next Tuesday or just wait for whatever happens next Tuesday and the sale should be over. But that's why. There's nothing wrong with your dupes, guys. Your retros are only selling for that amount of money because of the sale that's going on. Once the sale is done, that's it. All right. You don't have to worry about that again. Now... Apart from that, as for legit ways to actually make money right now, the best thing, and it's sad to say, the only good GTA bonus, which pretty much just carried over from last week, is double money and RP on the hangar cell missions, okay? So the hangar cell missions, I wouldn't say it's super like worth it, but they're on sale right now too. You can pick up hangers, I think, for 30 or 40% off. I believe it's 40% off at the moment. But uh, yeah, that's double money and RP on hangar cell missions. Also signing in this week. I'm not sure if they're going to give us bonuses next week, but if you sign in this week, you'll get your bonuses from signing in last week, which are the blue wireframe bodysuit and 100K. For the last pretty much three weeks, we've been getting like 100K every week for just signing in and two different body frame suits or wireframe bodysuits, I should say. So yeah, the blue one came out this week, so make sure you pick that up if you signed in last week. Now the best discounts at the moment 
I would say are the Armored Karuma. If you don't have one of those, either do the Gear Cars to Friends or you can actually buy your own. Uh, but the Armored Karuma is a really good vehicle along with the Shitaro. All right, so and those are 30% off right now. So the Shitaro, I'd say, is one of the best bikes in the game and the coolest looking. So definitely pick those up if you don't have them yet. And the Avenger and the MOC are 30% off. Now, I know as a glitch channel, a lot of my glitches have that, but not all of you viewers actually know about, you know, some of these things. So, and don't actually have the Avenger or the MOC. So right now is your chance, 30% off. But that's up to you whether you want to spend the money now or save the money for the DLC. We really don't know, uh, you know, how much money we're going to have to be spending on that. I think just like any other DLC, you know, you're going to need a few million in the bank. It's going to be at under five million, at least to start off with, okay? for To buy the cheapest properties or the cheapest, you know, businesses, whatever they're going to be giving us, I'd say you definitely want at least three million dollars ready to go, okay? So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. This actually went a lot longer than I thought it would. But uh, yeah, my name's Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.